Let's check off that one film. And again, we have that checklist capability that we can uh, select more than one. And I click OK. And it's going to download that three minute and two second long scene. Uh, because we have a short time together today, and I don't want to take all your time, we're going to go ahead and compress this, uh, the time to import this title. All right, once that progress bar is all the way across, uh, you can come on over to your edit window, and the very last clip, there's film number one. Three minutes, two seconds, and seven frames. And uh, there we have this beautiful opening that shows some of the full capabilities of the Casablanca. Okay. So that, again, is, is, is an incredible tool. When we take that original footage and compress it to a DVD, it, it changes it from a DirecTV file to an MPEG-2 file, and, and that's not a Casablanca thing, that's an industry-specific thing. It's, it's squishing that footage down to fit into that smaller space that we have on a DVD disc. Although most people I've talked to who are already using this feature say, you know, dag -nam it, I, I can't even see any degradation of signal quality. That is a beautifully done uh, feature for those using Smart Edit 6. So we've, we've kind of taken you through a variety of the menus. Remember, we started out just going through the basics of the first three menus, recorded some footage, we went in and edited it, we added transitions, we played a tiny bit with image processing, dabbled with some of the titling capabilities, recorded and modified some audio, and then finally mixed our audio before we came back to the finish window where we exported to tape and introduced the capability of Arabesque DVD authoring. Remember, that's already on your system, check that second disc for the DVD Arabesque 3 tutorial. That's a quick taste of, of, of everything that we have available in Smart Edit 6, but I did want to take a few moments and go back to some of the new features in Smart Edit 6 uh, that relate specifically to the System Settings and Project Settings screen. So I click into the System Settings screen, and there's, there's two particular functions I want to show you here. This first one has been available in the, the last few editions of Smart Edit, but I want to make sure you're, you're full aware of it. And that's Smart Rendering. By turning Smart Rendering on, by engaging it, what it does is it lets me go back here to my um, edit window. And for example, if I add a transition, remember before when we added the real-time uh, transitions, they were instantly rendered? And when we added the, the 3D, the not real-time transitions, like this raster, I'm going to go ahead and add that and see it's still red. Well, if you notice that, and because I'm on a Renome, it's so fast and I love that, there's a little effects button that happened up here. Let me go ahead and change it and you can see the effects button. It's rendering in the background. So as I add effects, as I add titles, it'll go ahead and render those for me automatically uh, as soon as I add them. So that's the smart render uh, capability. And again, you can turn that on or turn that off. Um, you can choose to render the last insert first, which means as I add an insert, it's going to render it now. And then it's going to go to the next one I add and do the second one in series. Or if you prefer, you can add the last insert last. So you, you have a choice between what's called uh, last in, first out, or first in, first out. And those are modified by selecting your choice here. I go ahead and click out of that, and the other cool feature, and this is brand new in Smart Edit 6, and that's the ability to back up and restore archives. You might remember when we were in the title menu, and let me come back over here to that title we created, and uh, we had this trip to the aquarium with the style and the color and this particular text, and even the font. We can archive that, and I can save that, and let me go ahead and save that, and let's call that uh, Sea Life. And when I save that and click OK, it just allows me at any other point in time to add a title, to enter edit text, to go to archives, and load that Sea Life title, and it comes up. So it's a really, really cool advantage. You can archive your colors. You can archive the style of your fonts, the type of your fonts. You will also see the archive menu pop up at several different times and places throughout the Casablanca interface. If you have multiple hard drives, or if you have friends and colleagues who use Casablanca and you want to share your custom archives, or if you do a clean system install where you put a brand new operating system and wipe out the previous operating system, you can retain those archives by going into the system settings menu and backing up those archives. 
I have a USB stick connected, what some people would call the USB jump drive or the USB thumb drive, the USB flash drive. It's a one, uh, let's see, I've got a, a one gig flash drive attached and I go ahead and I click OK and I'm actually going to uh, save this. Let's save it down here and we'll call it uh, Chet, C-H-E-T and I click OK and it's actually saving that onto the uh, USB stick, the USB thumb drive. I, I, there's a little indicator light indicating it's been saved. Now when I want to restore that, again, on this hard drive on somebody else's system, I can select, and you can see that you can, you can archive these to CD or DVD or to a Firewire external hard drive as well, but I want to go ahead and add those, so I click Chet and click OK, and now I've brought back those archived files that I've saved previously. So really, really cool capabilities that you have within the SmartEd environment, and this is new to SmartEd at 6. The other really, really new uh, and cool feature that SmartEd at 6 brings us is the ability to take your entire storyboard and archive or save that you can take it into a different Casablanca. Uh, you can save it on the shelf, so if you need to do work later on. So, for example, I have my, my Sea Life project going on here. And let's go ahead, I'll get, rem you know, get remove these last pieces here so that we only have our Sea Life storyboard. Let's say I wanted to save that out because there may come a time later, a year from now, or six months, or three years from now, that I want to bring this back in and maybe change the title scene, or change the second shot, or change an insert you have that capability with this brand new archive capability. You'll find this in Project Settings at the very bottom, the Backup and Restore Your Storyboard. And you have a couple of different ways. I, I can save it in DV mode, and it will take the entire storyboard and save it out as a single scene, just as if I had used the Scene button that we find in those three effects menus that we used earlier. Well, this will just compress the whole thing, which is nice, but the best choice here is DV Backup. DV Backup not only saves the individual scenes, but also saves much of the data from the storyboard, the effects, image processing effects, your transitions, and the audio that came in with the original camera track. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would first save that, then we'll go to an empty project and restore or bring it back in. So I click uh, Backup Storyboard. And although FireWire hard drive is listed, at this point in time with the initial release of SmartEd at 6, we're not fully comfortable uh, certifying with 100% certainty that the FireWire hard drive is working to our satisfaction. So uh, a number of people have had success with that, but at this point in time, again, we recommend either going CD or DVD. Now this is essentially an uncompressed AVI file, so there are time limitations. On a CD, you can get about three minutes of a storyboard. So it's a great way to archive you know, simple title scenes, maybe bumpers, maybe opens and closes for your company logo, that kind of thing. And on the DVD, you can get about 20, 21 minutes on, on a single layer DVD. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and go single layer DVD, and I click OK, and I'm going to call this Sea uh, Life. And I go ahead and click OK. And it would, first it tells me, go ahead and put a, you can do rewritable or a DVD-R disk in here, and it will go ahead and record. And when you click OK, it will go ahead and burn that. But I'm going to do the Julia Child School of Cooking and, and show you the other end of the process. If you just clicked OK, once you put your disk in, it will go ahead and burn that, uh, much like you, 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 you will see in the DVD arabesque demonstration on the second disk of this set. Let's go ahead and go to an empty project here. I come down to project number five, and because there's no asterisk, it tells me there's no media going on in this folder. And just to prove it to you, to show, again, there's, there's no audio or video data in this folder. I come back to project settings, and because there's nothing in here, the only choice is to restore.